wasi 2020 ko mathematics paper paper 1 evaluate correct to two decimal places 75.078 5 minus 34.625 plus 9.83 so we add these numbers to obtain 50.2845 we start counting from the first number after the decimal point 1 2 then we consider the next number which is less than 5 so we don't add anything and that will give us 50.8 so the correct answer is 50.8 which is option B now let's look at question Now let's look at question 2. If x is equal to x such that x less than 7 and y is equal to y such that y is a factor of 24 are subsets, are subsets of mu is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to 10 find x intersection y so we know that the universal set have this element the set x also have this element so we are assuming that x is an integer then also y has this element factors of 24 are uh, 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 24 the numbers that are common to x and y are x intersection y and these are 1 2 3 4 6 therefore the correct answer is 1 2 3 4 6 which is 6 now option 3 question 3 we have to simplify this and we know we can rewrite this thing we can flip this now this over here and change the sign to positive the same way it is the same as 16 over 1 so we flip it we reciprocate it and change the sign from negative to positive and that will give us something like this then the next thing we do is to look at the denominator here and raise these numbers to this exponent so the denominator here is 4 we raise this a number to exponent 4 that will give us 16 that will be 2 exponent 4 and this one will be 4 exponent 2 3 exponent 2 now what do we do next we bring these two out and bring this 4 out here to give us something like this now when we simplify this we get 3 over 4 exponent 3 times 1 over 2 exponent 3 all exponent 1 over 3 so we can bring the 3 out in the exponent to get something like this then, then this will give us 1 in the exponent and when we multiply 3 and 1 we get 3 and 4 by 2 will give us 8 now we are supposed to find the least value of x which satisfy the equation 4x equals 7 mod 9 so I'm assuming it's a congruent relation we are going to get 4x is equal to 7 mod 9 now we find the greatest common factor of 7 and 9 and that will be equal to 1 so it means that we can express 9 in terms of We can rewrite re 9 as 2 times 4 plus 1. 9 as 2 times 4 plus 1. So we can make 1 a subject to obtain 
something like this we just bring the two times four here don't multiply it just keep it as two times four so you can see that in this case we have negative two as the inverse of four so we use the negative two to multiply through this then we get a modular equation that will give us something like this good so this is in mod 8 and this is also in uh, this is in mod 9 and this is also in mod 9 so now let's multiply this and this to get negative 8 and that will give us negative 8 mod 9 and we have negative 7 negative 14 mod 9 so in modulo we are looking for the positive number so what we do is that we add we keep adding the, the modulo here which is 9 until we get positive on both sides so we add 9 to negative 4 we get 1 then we add 9 to negative 14 we get negative 5 keep adding until we get the, the, the first positive number because we are looking for the list so we do that and we get x equal 4 we can keep adding 9 to get all the solutions but now because we are looking for the least one so the answer is a another way you can do it is go by this you know 7 mod 9 is the same as 7 16 25 34 and so on and so forth so you pick the number that will give you positive that will give you an integer value for x because in modulo we are looking for the integer so when you pick 7 it will not give you an integer if you pick 16 to give you an integer so that will give you the list so that will mean that 4x is equal to 16 and dividing through by 4 will give you 4 now we have the number 5 here we are supposed to express 1 plus 2 log 3 base 10 in the form log to base 10 of q so what do we do we know we can rewrite 1 as logarithm of the base so the base now is 10 so logarithm of 10 to base 10 and that will give us something like this so we can apply the power law here that when the logarithm is when the number is multiplying the logarithm then it becomes the exponent of the number then we can apply now the we apply the product rule and that will give us log of 10 times 9 to base 10 and when you multiply you get log 90 so the correct answer is option D now let's look at number 5 number 6 if 1 0 1 base 2 plus 12 base y is equal to 23 base 5 find the value of y so let's convert all of them to base 10 so this is the equation given to us to convert them to base 10 we multiply repeatedly by the base and this, this is what you obtain so the base in each case here, the base here, the base here. Then the next thing is to simplify. When we simplify, we obtain something like this, and this will give us seven plus y is equal to thirteen, and that will give us y to be six. So the correct answer is six. Now let's come to number seven. An amount of 550,000 Naira was realized when a principal X was saved at 2% simple interest for 5 years. Find the value of X. So the formula for simple interest is this. Interest is called to principal times rate times time. So the principal is X from the question. and the time is five years and the rate is two percent 
when we simplify that we get 0.1x now what do we do next the amount is given by interest plus the principal so that will give us this equation so we substitute the amount which is 550 550,000 naira then the interest is this and the principal is this and that will give us 1.1 x equal 550,000 naira and when you simplify you get something like this 5,500 5 million 500,000 naira you multiply through by 10 mm -hmm. so you get something like this now you divide through by 11 to get 500,000 naira for x so the correct answer is a we are supposed to simplify this given that root 3 plus root 5 all over root 5 is equal to x plus y root 15 find the value of x plus y so how do you go about this we this is what is given to us so we rationalize by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by root 5 then now you use the root 5 to multiply each term here and the root 5 to multiply this and that will give us this expression now root 5 times root 5 will give you 5 then root 5 times root 2 will give you root 15 split the denominator for both of them then you get 1 plus 1 over 5 root 15 so it means x is equal to 1 and y equal to 1 over 5 so when we add them we get 1 plus 1 over 5 which is the same as one whole number 1 over 5 if x is equal to 3 and y equal negative 1 evaluate 2 into bracket x squared minus y exponent negative y, y exponent 3 so let's do the addition we just have to substitute into the expression x equal 3 and y equal negative 1 when we simplify this we get 3 square is 9 negative is already here so minus negative 1 that will give you 9 plus 1 which is 10 2 times 10 is 20 so the correct answer is 20 then we have this we are solving the equation 3x minus 2y equal 10 let this be the equation 1 then x plus 3y equal 7 so we make a subject to get x equals 7 minus 3y to be equation 2 now we put equation 2 in equation 1 to get this let's expand this 3 times 7 is 21 3 times negative 3y is negative 9y then we simplify and group like terms so we get negative 11 y is equal to negative 11 divide both sides by negative 11 to get y is equal to 1 then we put y equal 1 into first equation to get the second equation rather to get x equal 7 times 3 x equals 7 minus 3 times 1 which is equal to 4 so the correct answer is a. So, thanks for watching. The next video is coming soon from 11 to 10, from 11 to 20, and in that order. So, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet done so, and also comment if you don't understand something. Then, also share. Then don't forget to click the like button if you like this video now if you can still see this red in here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.